Hi, welcome. You are at the Igniting Souls Fellowship for February. And today we are going to be talking about six tips to create your first online product or program. I'm curious who here has ever taken an online product or program? Awesome. So pretty much all of our live audience, it looks like, online, if you've taken a product or program online, go ahead and, take, and type in program. And welcome. Thanks for joining us online. We know that there are people all over the world that are there, as well as our live Columbus, Dublin, Ohio part right here. I want to share with you something that is personal to me and why I'm actually here today. It was December of 2014, and I had been really seeking out something specific. I knew a year before that that I'd like to come check out one of Carrie's online or programs or something like that. I knew something about this guy, but I didn't know him very well, but I'd heard great things. I ended up getting sick that year and wasn't able to attend that particular program. But in December 2014, I had signed up online to come here live. And I can't remember the topic, but I knew it sounded pretty interesting. I got here, and one of those very specific things that I was looking for, he said the word. And I thought, whoa, I'm supposed to do this. It was a program called The Deeper Path. I went ahead and without even knowing much at all about the guy, knowing much about the program, I signed up immediately. It was an online program, it was something to where you, know, you call in and you get to meet with other people that aren't even live, you know, you're just talking to them over the phone and online. And I'll tell you what, that program changed my life. It wasn't much later that I saw he was offering another program. It was called Your Secret Name. And I knew immediately the topic of that was something that was really important to my heart to help other people. So I actually got certified in that program. And then he offered another amazing program later on that I was really intrigued in. I'll tell you what, these online programs change lives and help people to go out and do what they are called to do. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and introduce our fearless leader here who knows how to do online products very well, Carrie Overbrunner. Please help me welcome him. All right, how are you guys doing today? Great. 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 How many of you are here for the first time? A lot of you. Welcome, welcome. to. Uh, how many of you are online for the first time? You've never joined an Igniting Souls Fellowship? Go ahead and type in the comments. I'm thrilled to be here today because I do believe online programs and products change lives. I really believe that. In fact, I've never been to the UK. I've never been to Israel. I have been to Australia, but I haven't been to a lot of countries. And many of you who are part of the Igniting Souls tribe, you know that we have clients all over the world. How is that possible? We live in a world today that's exponentially different. You hold in your hand a smartphone and you have more technology than all of NASA had to land a man on the moon. Isn't that crazy? It's a little scary. That's, that's pretty scary. Um, so let's talk about uh, the Igniting Souls Fellowship today. Uh, Erica is going to be managing the comments, so thanks, thanks for that, Erica. We've been doing these now for, we're in our fifth year. Can you believe that? It's been our five years. And we started probably with Joel. Okay, Joel was probably sitting in this seat listening to me, okay? But the point is that if you want to be an online business, you need to keep at it, right? You really need to keep at it. Does anyone know what the word enthusiasm means? Pete. God in us. God in us. En theos. Theos means God. When you, when Joel, you were here in one person, I was just as passionate then as today. With, with thousands of people that are going to be able to watch this replay. And the point is this, you can't give up. You can't give up. you got to keep rolling with it. Um, I'm going to ask all of you to, to do one little tip that will help us have a big party today. Can you do that? We don't charge for these on purpose. But my passion is to, this is my big, we call it a boon. Okay, a boon. It stands for a big dream. My big dream is to ignite one million souls by 2020. That's my 2020 vision, okay? And maybe you have a 2020 vision. Does anyone here have a 2020 vision? Anybody? Yeah, some of you? Awesome. So right now, whether you're watching online or in this room, if you guys wouldn't mind going to uh, 
the, the Carry Overrunner author page. You can't even spell my name, just try. It's K-A-R-Y, all right? If you just type in Facebook, bald guy with girl's name, <laughs> I show up, okay? But otherwise, go to K-A-R-Y, and then Overrunner, it's my author page, and if you just hit share, what that does is Facebook basically gets excited, and they say, there's a lot of energy in this party, and we're gonna start showing it to other places, and a lot of people can then grow and benefit from what I'm gonna teach. Because what I'm gonna teach today is six tips how to sell your first program or product online. How many of you would be like, that would be sweet if you guys could do that? Wouldn't that be cool? That's what we're talking about today. Again, we've been doing these for a while now, and when people like it and share it, we get a lot of action. Uh, I'm Carrie Overrunner, Chief Igniter. Um, it's, it's my passion to, to do what I do. I wake up every day totally excited. Sometimes I wake up too early. Okay, anybody wake up too early sometimes? Yeah, when you're on fire, you just wake up too early sometimes. All right? Um, but here's the point. Um, these are just a few of our programs. Just so you guys know that, like, does this dude even know what he's talking about? Because there's a guy over here who was in the wrong room, right, a few minutes ago. And he's like, well, what program is this? And I said the title, and he's like, well, who are you? And then I said my name, and he's like, I'm leaving. You know? And he just walked out. I'm like, all right, no worries. It's all good. You just got to roll with it, guys, right? You got to roll with it. You know, Speak to the light, not, not to the darkness. Here's the point. I believe that I'm credible to, to speak on this topic. How many of you in this room have joined one of our programs or products? Raise your hand. Raise it high, raise it high. OK, great. We have about half new people, the other half have joined. How many of you online have joined one of our programs or products? I think you'll see in the comments, and go ahead and list which one. But this started back in 2010. This was a book called Your Secret Name. We created Your Secret Name Five Week Journey, then we created the Deeper Path Coaching Cohort. By the way, big tip, write this down. First tip, you ready? Your online product or program needs to have a capstone event, a capstone deliverable. You guys get what I'm saying when I say that? You don't just say, hey, let's chat for five weeks. You know, you wanna buy, that's not gonna happen, okay? You wanna have a, a, a graduation type feeling where a deliverable is created. With your secret name, and by the way, Eric, am I shifting too much or am I good on camera? Yep. Am I good? Okay. okay. Um, is this in the way? Just curious. Not too much? Not too much. All right, no. cool. Your secret name, what do you think you get after the five weeks? What do you think you get? Your secret name, okay? There's a deliverable. We walk through a process where you reset your self esteem, your self image set point, okay? You don't get what you want in life, you get who you are. If you think you're a two, and you go out and pretend in business you're a 10 and you're wearing a mask, people will tell, okay? It's like a thermostat. You can't raise your success level if your self-image set point is too low. I'm very qualified to speak on that. You know why? Because I used to be a, a cutter. I used to struggle with self-injury, even as a professional. As a young adult, uh, professional of a nonprofit in my early 20s, that's when everything kind of hit the fan and, and I had to realize, you know what, I'm an imposter. I've been hiding this secret, okay? And so I'm very qualified to speak on the topic of, I knew all the right things, but success was eluding me because I wasn't ready to receive it. Does this make sense? Yes. You can't go up to an anorexic girl and say, you're beautiful, and she says, oh, thank you. Now I'm, now I'm cured, thank you very much. It's not an information problem. It's a resetting your self-image set point, just like we have a thermostat in the back, which by the way, Chris, can you turn that down a little bit? Did you shave, Chris? I can't even recognize you. I don't even have my glasses on. I mean, gee, oh wow. Wow, because you know, I don't wear glasses when I speak. I feel like I'm more, whatever, long story short. All right, let's keep going. Um, here's the point. Just like we have a thermostat in the back, if we set it to 50, right, it's gonna stay at 50. We can. Blade is blaze of fire here, it's gonna to go to 50. We can open the doors to winter, it's gonna stay at 50. It's the same thing with your self and set point. You will be at that level financially, emotionally, and spiritually until you reset your self and set point. So how many people have gone through your secret name? Anybody? Yeah, it's life changing. 
It's life changing. It's a lot of internal work. Deeper path. Deeper path. What do you think, key word? What do you think the deliverable is right there? Your opus. Opus is the Latin word for masterpiece. Okay, there's two words for work in Latin. One is toil, the other is opus or labor. Labor, labor, labor. Any women ever go through labor, right? Was it toil? You bet. That's what I've heard, okay? Uh, all right, I only stood from a distance. Um, but masterpiece, opus, is your life's work, okay? And we teach you through those 10 weeks how to author your opus, all right? Dream job, boot camp. This one might be a little bit trickier. What's the deliverable there? What do you think? Do your dream job or plan, exactly. And we're helping people go from day job to dream job. You see how each one has a del deliverable? If you just say, well, I have a program, great, what am I gonna do on week 10 or week five or week three? Well, nothing, you know? You're not gonna attract a lot of people. Does that make sense? All right, uh, my book blueprint, what do you think is the deliverable? Your book blueprint. Do you see how non-creative my, my names are? <laughs> but do you think there's a reason for that? What do you think? What if you call something and people are like, well, what is it? You know? Uh, this one is confusing. So I'll tell you the subtitle. If you have a, a cloaked title, you need a very clear subtitle. This is 30 days to experiencing unhackability in work and life because most people won't know what Elixir Project experience is. Does this make sense so far? All right, you guys learned something so far? Yeah. All right, what have you learned online? Go ahead, share. What's the one thing you've learned? By the way, have we asked people where they're from yet? Yes. Awesome, fantastic. Where are people from? Who do we have? Australia, uh, Canada. Fantastic. Um, Colorado. Great, awesome. France. Awesome. awesome. Author Academy Elite. Author Academy Elite. How many of you are in that? A few people in the room? Yeah, you're authoring your books, right? Fantastic. What do you think the deliverable is? A book. A book. You get it? You get it? And, and here, again, even though it's Elixir Project experience, what's really big? What can you see even from the back? 30 days to experiencing unhackability in working life. Wouldn't it be cool if you could develop these little 3D images? Because if you're creating online content, you don't want 2D flat images. Welcome. Okay? Does this make sense? Can you look up, Joel, can you Google box shots and give me the exact URL? Okay, there's, there's box shots, okay? He'll give me the URL, but you can literally go in there and create. How many of you have ever gone online and you've seen these pretty six CDs or pretty nine DVDs, but you know you're not getting them? Is that being deceitful? Do you think so? What if you put at the bottom, this is a digital course, but they're using the nine DVDs to illustrate nine sessions. Does this make sense? What is it, Joel? Boxshot.com. See, look at that. Look at that, bookboxshot.com. It's, it's a software where you can literally create these 3D dimensional CDs, DVDs, books, all kinds of stuff, okay? Make sense? Awesome, welcome, by the way. All right. Here's our Igniting Souls tribe. We have people, Erica knows, do we have people every day who request to join? Yeah. What do you think we tell these people? No, do you think we're just like, no, get away? What do you think we say? Sure. Uh, we, we actually say no. Well, we don't let them into the tribe, but what do we say, I don't even we know. We give them um, opportunity to, we, we try to sell, sell all your, I mean, share all your yeah. um, opportunities. And I think we even give them like a free and a link free to book. something, mm -hmm. okay? In other words, when you have people come to you, don't be like, no, this is my private group. By the way, everything I'm teaching to you today, you don't need a website for. Well, isn't that crazy? How many of you have been saying, my biggest barrier is I don't have a website? Be honest, anybody? A couple people? Okay, write down teachable.com. You're gonna learn from a guy uh, in a moment who has a course on Teachable, and you can literally, how many of you have a smartphone? You can literally have a smartphone and teachable.com and create your course. That's it. It literally checks you out. It features your course. It gives a sample. Did I remove any excuses for anybody? 
Did I? Right? Okay, hope so. But anyway, we have people all the time, and by the way, you lead people to your private Facebook group. That's where the community happens. Does that make sense? You don't want people to buy a course and now they're in Never Never Land. You want them to join a private Facebook group. Why? Because it's always on their smartphone. Now they're a, a message away. You create rules, you create boundaries. You might say, I'm only coming in once a day from six to seven to answer questions. But does this make sense? Wouldn't you be more likely to join a program if you had daily access to the person who created it? How many of you are in the Igniting Souls tribe? Raise your, raise your hand, raise them high, raise them high. How many, how many have ever been answered by me for any question? Okay, look at this, see? See the point? At our, at our yearly conference, ignitingsoulsconference.com, if you can put that in there, Erica, people come up to me and they hug me and I have to think about who they are because all I remember them by is their profile picture. Does this make sense? Okay, but I know that we're working toward a goal. You work with people who, uh, physical, guys with gyms, guys with the gym. What is it called? Gym guys, there you go. I knew it was something like that. Gym guys, right? I see you driving around, right? It's like a dude with a barbell or something? Yeah, big old barbell over top of the big yeah. right hand. Okay, marketing, get it? So when he came in today, I just met him, and he said, uh, guys with Jim? Guys, gym guys. Gym guys. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Gym guys, see? You don't even need to be smart to sell things. So gym guys, I already knew the brand awareness. I already had it top of mind. Does this make sense? You need to create free content if you're online. It doesn't mean you have to start your own podcast. How many of you have ever seen me do one of my little Facebook videos where I'm literally running and, and I stop and I do a Facebook video? Raise them high, raise them high. Do I care about how I look in those? Obviously not. Obviously not, <laughs> obviously not, thank you. But it's true, it's true. But some of us are like, oh my gosh, what if I don't say the right thing? What if I mess up? What, you know, anytime I do that, I quote, hack myself, okay? I hacked myself, I got hacked. And uh, the point is I can't deliver value. Who am I focused on when I'm thinking about that? You. Me. If you wanna be an online business, product or program, you cannot be thinking about you, okay? If I'm all worried about how do I sound, what do I, you know, da 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 da. Uh, Video is the new hot thing on social media. You will be rewarded with video, meaning more, uh, more publicity when you do live stream video, okay? You just will. Why? Why is this true? What happens, yes? Come on up, Fran. Let's give Fran a hand, come on up. By the way, I only call on you if I, if I know you, okay? No, I won't embarrass you, come on up, come on up, Fran. So Fran, you do raw foods? Yes. By the way, isn't that nice how her glasses match that? I mean, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. All right, All right so you do, you do raw foods, Yeah. Fran's Living Foods, Yeah. and, and Lahai Ministry. And, and Lahai Ministry, right. and have you ever done live video of you? Have you ever done? Yeah, video? yeah, yeah. I've done live video. And what do you do? I are, just, you, are you cooking stuff, or what do you do? Yeah, I I usually get a, a little recipe ready. Okay, real loud. I, I get a recipe ready, and then I also have like a little mini teaching for the Lahai Ministry part, and I put the two together. And usually, I just make it like two minutes because yeah. people don't have time and they don't want to listen to half an hour. Right. Me on. Like today when I teach, you know. Yeah. No. So, anyways, when you're on, you know, people are scrolling, and and I try to just put a catchy phrase. Yeah. I bought a little. Um, it's an Archon. Um, for to hold my camera on my okay. cell phone it yeah. holds it up real well and I just push go first time I was trembling and scared but it's really fun and you've it's got like, comments helpful feedback yeah thoughts. yeah and yeah. the live part is the funnest part because I like live teaching so yeah. that's actually what I realized though is I have to have the camera close enough so I can see the comments but okay. it gets a lot of engagement awesome. and it's fun awesome and people really I'm like, do more, do more, you know. So. Let's give her a hand. Yeah. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> what I like about this is a couple things. You don't create a course, product, or program and say, here it is, world, go buy. You have to do teaching around it and most likely free teaching around it. 
We call this the what strategy. Jimmy, Jimmy Dean, sausage. sausage strategy. Isn't that a weird name? I haven't bought the URL, I should buy it. Joel, can you remind me? Thank you. Yeah. Um, so here's the point. Have you ever gone to Costco or Sam's Club? You don't even want Jimmy Dean sausage, right? It's not even on your list. It's not even on your radar. But what happens? Free sample. It smells good. The nice lady or guy gives it to you. It's on sale. Your kids are with you, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, whatever. Your husband, your wife, your dog. All right? And what happens? You walk away with three Jimmy Dean sausage in your cart, right? You need to do this with your content. If the barrier of entry is 97, 197, 10, 10, 90, you know, 97, you're gonna miss out on, on sales, okay? Um, let's keep going. This is just some of the tribe, okay? These are different conferences, different years. Um, I think I'm qualified to talk on the top. Do you agree? All right, so you guys ready today? Um, you ready? And then, by the way, uh, online products and programs, here's what they're gonna increase. Does anybody want more influence, impact, and income? Does anybody? Yeah. Anybody's like, hey, yeah? All right, I agree. I think we all could use a little bit more influence, impact, and income. Now, I'm a person of faith. I don't believe what I'm teaching is discontentment. If you look, go outside and look at everything God created, nothing says shrink. You don't go up to the blade of grass and you listen and it says shrink, right? Or the squirrel. Everything God created says what? Grow. Grow. I believe that you need to grow. You need to grow your platform, your increase, your message. There, it's very different than discontentment. Discontentment says I'm unsatisfied, I'm, I'm complaining, I'm ungrateful. Growing says, thank you God, I've stewarded whatever you've given me already well, and I wanna reach more people. And by the way, getting paid isn't bad. It's not like you've sold your soul as an artist to get paid. In fact, if you don't get paid, what's gonna to happen to your message in your work? It's gonna become a part-time hobby. Does this make sense? Many people I coach in the beginning, they feel dirty or bad that they're gonna charge money. And my point is this. Do you think that your loved ones, whoever they are, single, married, whatever, friends, do you think your loved ones are going to be excited for you to continue to invest in your hobby forever without seeing a return on your investment? Do you think you will have the same fire? No. Do you think your products and programs can ever increase in technology or quality if you're not charging for your products? No, you need to, right? This stuff isn't free. All right, let's keep going. Here's what you're gonna to discover today. You're gonna to discover this in the next 65 minutes, okay? The invitation, I never call it a sales page. I call it a what? Does anyone remember this? I know I did a podcast on it. Transformation invitation, do you like that? Isn't that better? You know, hey, do you, did you go to my sales sheet? That sounds so yucky, you know, or have you gone to the transformation invitation? I like that, okay? I'm gonna show you literally, I'm gonna literally take you to our secret sauce, put on the website, and walk you through the psychology of one of our TIs, okay? Would that be helpful? Okay, the order. A story makes zero sense if you don't put it together the right way, correct? Let's try this, okay? What's the story we all know? Three little pigs, right? And, 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 and what were they? Sticks and hay and stone, something like that? Bricks, something like that? All right, let's tell the story backwards. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he couldn't blow the house down. Okay, that's the ending. You, you, you see what I'm talking about? Some of you, your sales page, your, transfer inform, your transformation information page is out of order. And you're basically giving people the solution before you talk about the problem. And imagine that. You go to your doctor, hi, why are you here today? Well, don't tell me, here's chemotherapy. 
You guys see how this is not going to work? You're going to be offended. You know, you're going to be not feel like you were served. Some of you are leading people to your invitation page, and it's all out of order. And you're wondering why you're not converting. So I'm going to actually walk you through things that have taken me years to figure out. And I'm going to show you exactly in six steps why we do what we do for every sales pitch. Would that be helpful? Okay. And I'll give you the links so that afterwards you can actually study them and say, oh, there's a template. Brian, who had literal brain tumor, who is blind in one eye, who now has a business called RadicalVision.com. A RadicalVision.com. See, I did better than the whatever yours was. <laughs> right? Yeah. But he weaves it. But come up, Brian. Come on up. Let's give Brian a hand. Let's give Brian a hand. All right. And Joel, I got to hurry for you. I got to get you in, man, because Joel's speaking somewhere. See, our clients are too successful. They, they go speak and leave. Joel's leaving soon. Nice um, really quick, a radicalvision.com. Yeah. You help businesses and organizations develop. What do you guys um, tell us? They, you help them identify what? I help them identify their blind spots. Blind spots, get it? He took his his pain and he turned it into, right, a promise. He took his cross and turned it into a crown. So now he goes in and says, hey, I have a framework. By the way, write down the word framework. Framework is simple steps that, that solves a problem. That's all framework is. Awesome, Brian. All right, Go thanks. visit Brian's website. All right. I gotta get to Joel here because Joel's a success story in the making. Oh, look at that, Joel. Boom. Come on up. Come on up, Joel. Let's give Joel a hand. Joel is the Richard Gear look-alike. Yeah. In his in, in his younger years. Not your younger years, Richard Gear's younger right. years, right? So Joel, give look, I met you five years ago, almost to the day, like January ish. Yeah. Um, and uh, tell people where you were then. And we're going to look at a moment where you are now, because you have your own program now. But let's let's talk. What do you? Yeah, have? yeah. Five six year, years ago, I was stuck. I had my own business, which was a virtual PR agency, and I was basically billing hours for dollars. I hit a plateau. I had no direction, and I was stuck. And uh, saw this guy speak, and I'm like, all right, he's saying something that I need to pay attention to. And I think it was what out about 50 or so people. I was one of two people who gave him my business card. By the way, I gotta teach that strategy. I told people, if you like what you heard today, take out your business card and write the word leader on it. It's a great close, okay? Out of a room of 60, two people wrote down their name. One returned my phone call, Joel's here today. And how many of you have uh, heard Joel teach ever or benefited from his content, anybody? Look at that, see? So it's a great close if you're ever presenting and people want coaching, you, you use an aspirational word. Write down the word winner on a business card. Okay, if people don't write down the word winner, what are they? Loser. A loser, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna meet with them. Why would you wanna meet with people who don't even identify with the word winner? Does this make sense? When in the past I could have spent 60 hours interviewing everybody and trying to find the diamond. Does this make sense? You gotta think, how can I get to the best people faster? All right, keep going, sir. So uh, then that turned into one-on-one -on -one coaching, deeper path, day job to dream job. He's just been a mentor for the last five years. And we talk about impact, influence, and income. It starts with the deeper path payoff of clarity, competence, and confidence. And I remember when you were teaching me that about four or five years ago on a whiteboard, I'm thinking, that's that's too much. I, just, I, I was overwhelmed. That, that's not me. I didn't have a confidence yet, but right now it's I'm making income. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I've gone through that, and the confidence is is through the roof right now. Uh, so you learned a long time ago. I can literally exchange the rest of my life dollars for hours, or I can take what I know. And by the way, every one of you knows something in the room. You might not think you do but every one of you knows something that someone else needs. But here's the problem. You're too familiar with it, and it's too easy for you that you think, why in the world would anyone pay for that? 
Does this make sense? This gentleman, tell me your first name. Caleb. Caleb. Awesome name. Do you know what the Hebrew means? Raging canine. Mad dog. Isn't that a good It's a great name. It explains me perfectly. It's a, it's a great name. It's a great name. All right? But Caleb was a trainer for a long time. You were great at sales. I heard your story a little bit, but you sold knives. You were hooked with sales. Now you actually link something that you have a passion for, correct? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Fantastic. All right. So you had knowledge. Tell us what you have today and tell us about that person who just bought 12. Yeah. Um, now I have an online program on Teachable called 30 Days to a Bigger Stage. It's for authors to help them get publicity for their book. So we talk about clarity and make it simple. Get publicity for your book. That's the end game. Uh, I had been working with a, a nonprofit foundation in Southern California for a, a couple of years and back in the fall got a call from one of their program directors saying, hey, we have a surplus of uh, funds before the end of the fiscal year. We're pulling together a resource guide. Could you produce some content for that? So we started brainstorming. I said, you know what? I've got this program to help authors get publicity. I can simply repackage that for nonprofits. Now, I've, I've worked with nonprofits my entire career, about 24 years. So I have a, a deep passion uh, for, for those folks. And so she was like blown away. Really? You could do that? That'd be awesome. Not only do they have access to the course, but they can join the private Facebook group. They can get online coaching and support that way. Forever access. Blown away. So simply repurposed what I already had, repositioned it for a nonprofit audience, and immediately they bought 12 seats for that program. And how much is the program? 297. So think about that. One phone call, 12 times 300, 3,600. See, I'm not crazy bad at math. But one phone call, $3,600. My point is this. If someone called you today and said, I like your course, write down what you would sell them. I have money. By the way, that's a great phone call. We have extra money. That's what, that's yeah. what I heard. You know? We have extra money. We like what you do. Can we buy your course? What would your course be? Just one course, don't overthink it. What would be one course? Chris in the back would be networking. I know that. Franz would be raw foods or your other ministry, Lahai ministry. You could do, Kathy, a course on how to turn your house into what? Passive income. Passive income through bed and breakfast. You see what I'm saying? Now you, you think, but that's too easy. Anybody could do that, right? Don't we think that? Sometimes we actually don't believe ourselves. We're our own worst enemy, right? You could do one on how to start your own event ministry night. I mean, you could do a lot of them, right? True? Okay. Becky could do one in the back on how to do audiobooks, how to narrate, correct? And you might say, well, gee, someone else has done one on that already. How many of us think that? They don't know that person, though. See, that's what we think sometimes. Why would I do physical training when Jillian Michaels, who's is like the big star, but yet you have a business and people are hiring you, right? See, don't shoot yourself down. All right, so that, that's great. And then talk about, right now you're in Elixir Project Experience? Yes. And I think on the way over you were telling me about some there was one of the Phone mod calls. yeah one of the modules was on uh, your promote inventory your promotions so this was just about a month ago got a call from a local nonprofit association they have about 50 other members throughout Central Ohio and now backing up talking about ad free value I have a partnership with the Ohio Association of Nonprofits I do free workshops and seminars for all of their members throughout the year. One of them is a ask the expert. I get on the phone and I provide free value, one on one, half hour at a time to 10 different folks in, in one day. Build trust. They call me back, will you come in and talk to our group? Yes, did that in October, free 20 minutes. Out of that, they called, we're having a spring workshop. We want it to be on communications. Can you do that? We have money. Okay, so on the phone, talking about this this program what, what the agenda looks like and she's psyched about it and then I ask how are you promoting this to your members 
said, well, we're going to send out a couple of emails. Okay, what do those emails look like? How about, what if I did this? I'll record a 30 or 60 second video that you can share with your community and I'll be talking about the program, how excited I am. She's like, really, you'll do that? Absolutely. Then the following week, I'll write something up that takes them to a blog post that I wrote about PR and marketing communications for nonprofits. You'll do that? Absolutely. So I have all these assets in place and I'm just leveraging them to help them promote this event it's value 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 and it's off the charts she's not thinking I'm paying this guy to come in for three hours to do a workshop it's much much deeper than that then I ask but what's the follow-up they walk away what happens next she said yeah we do a poor job of that well I've got an advisor program I've got an online program you know private Facebook group all these things to keep them engaged and she's just blown away awesome. so it's just it's, yeah, it's an awesome feeling to finally be in this position and have that level of clarity to just give and give value. You know what's going to help. And at the end of the day, yeah, you might get paid for it. Mm -hmm. But that focus has completely shifted. You forward. got one question, and then I know you got to go speak at Easton. I got a few minutes, but thanks. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so ask your question. We'll keep going then. Go for it. How long did it take you before you, you got to the point where you were comfortable when you didn't? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, well, I've been on this journey for about six years now. Um, and I would say last year, about a year ago, is when I really started to get more focus on, I really need to niche on, on an audience. And authors and nonprofits. For years, I've worked with nonprofits, but, but my struggle was they don't have money. They can't afford me. Well, why they, they, because they couldn't afford my agency rate. But I had to figure out a way to help them where it was still profitable for me. So that's where the coaching, the advising, the online program, just different ways for them to get a lot of value at a very, very affordable rate. Mm -hmm. That's great. Awesome. Let's give Joel a hand. <laughs> Let me just give Joel and Rebecca a plug here. I was at a conference with Joel a year ago, and I saw Joel getting it. In other words, Joel's good at what he's good at. Someone in the conference is speaking that someone's wife has a book coming out. And I saw the magic happening. I'm looking at Joel, I'm looking at this guy's wife, and I'm realizing, I hope Joel does this, and you did it. You went up and volunteered for free to this big influencer, his services. Now, that's level two thinking. Level one thing is, ooh, on a coffee break, I'm gonna go up to him and see if he'll pay me, right? Level two thinking is, hey, tell me about your book. What are your passions? Uh, what are your goals for that book? And then he became that woman's uh, PR person for her book, which turned back into a lot of free marketing for you, because this person's very influential. You get that? Rebecca came up to me, loved it, okay, loved what she did. She's an audiobook reader. I knew with Elixir Project, I needed, since it's young adult fiction, I needed a young female voice. I just had to, you know, I just had to. But Rebecca, instead of saying, hey, I read audiobooks, what did you do for me? I offered to voice a chapter for free. Yeah, so she gave me a CD with my audiobook and a chapter read. Do you see how that makes sense? You make it like so easy and you give first, okay? There's a principle in social media today. It's between one, uh, or it's between 10 and 20 gives for everyone ask. Okay, does this make sense? If you want people to like your stuff, share it, retweet, review your book on Amazon, buy your course, 20 gives, 10 to 20 gives for every one ask. Does this make sense? Yeah, Fran. I did that about a month ago there at the retreat center in Michigan that they've been kind of struggling. You gotta talk real loud. There's come on up, come on up, yeah, come up. Because we, we got an online audience. How are they doing, by the way? Are they doing great? Doing good. All right, you guys having fun? What, what's your biggest takeaway so far? And then I'm gonna go hyperspeed to get to get the six. But you were saying a thing in uh, Michigan? There's a retreat center, a health retreat center in Michigan that they've been kind of struggling on and off. And it's a great place. It's where I got my healing. So I have so much passion for it. And 
one lady told me to call one of the people in charge there, right. and, and so I called it, and they said, well, how can we, how can I get more advertising? I said, well, get on Facebook Live, is right. what I told them. Right. And he's like, well, how do you do it? I'm like, okay, this is how you do it. And he's like, he's like that, that's all you called to tell me? I said, yes, I'm here to just encourage you. He says, that phone call, I was just about ready to quit. Wow. And, and I just kept thinking what you always say, and I wasn't doing it to get in the door or anything, right. but he was like, oh, I want your name, um, blah, blah, blah. I yeah. mean, he was so excited. That's so awesome. do give, because people, people awesome. need it. And you never know when they're about ready to quit. So yeah. I just want to and we call this show up, <laughs> filled up, show up, filled up, okay? You go into every event as an outlier because you show up, filled up, okay? Uh, you should be here if you're an entrepreneur, an artist, an author, a leader, or a change agent. Is that all of you? One of you? Some of you? Right? You feel like that? Yeah. Good. You're in the right spot. I've already taught a lot of side lessons today. We're going to get into the very big meat part here. Here's the point, though. Today's an event. Today's an event, which means my best shot is for you to make a decision about something in your life to motivate you. To, to make it a calendar issue or to challenge you. That's what I can do with events. It's like working out, right? If you go work out, you know, you can do those things on the quote, you know, left side. But on the right side, I can't do this for you today. When we end here in a little bit, I can't encourage development in you. I can't mature you. I can't make it a culture issue and I can't change you. So at the very end, I'm gonna share I'm very upfront about this. I'm gonna share a path, just like a lot of these people went through. They said, I want to go deeper. What he's saying is, works, it helps. And there's a cost for me joining, but there's a cost for me staying stuck. Does this make sense? And, and you like that slide, go ahead. Awesome, all right, so that makes sense, everybody? All right, and again, today's session, tip of the iceberg, and again, we have a, a lot of extra content where, just like Joel and others, we've helped them gain a lot of success. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take you through our last launch, elixirprojectexperience.com slash join, and I'm, go to that page if you guys can, and, I'll, and I'm gonna walk you through, don't worry about here, I'll unplug, uh, well, I'll get off my PowerPoint and I'll take you through the website, and I'll, and I'll literally show you everything, everything about the page. Um, again, I've never, this is me way back in the day when I had a little hair, talking to the, it was so long ago, that was the KFC dude. Remember that guy, Colonel Sanders? No, I'm kidding, it's not. Um, but this was, at a, this was at a book launch, my very first book, 2004. But I've been doing this stuff that long that all I'm saying is I've never seen in 14 years people be this electric. People have this much transformational experience. How many of you have been in the tri page recently and you've seen like, What's going on? What's going on with all these EPX people, right? It's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna share that process with you today. Just some quick things, some quick testimonies. Uh, thank you for this life-changing experience. Again, when you get thank yous from people about creating content, and yes, there was a fee to join, but you know, as a result, my actions have changed, my thought process is not the same. Uh, I'm now going to get my book finished and published. Why? Because the whole course is about you getting hacked. You have a great idea, a great plan, but then you get hacked along the way. Um, this is this four hours ago. Four hours ago when I, he woke up, he uses the word flow. That's the optimal state of human performance. We teach you all about that in the course. RAS is your reticular activating system, your filter. But he said today I had a call from a consulting group on the West Coast that is intrigued and interested in helping to take his message to the marketplace. EPX is so real for me today. I'm in awe of what I see God doing and want to be sure to continue to express my gratitude to him. So again, we got tons of stuff. I can't even, I'm not even going to go through all these. I'm just going to skip them, skip them, skip them. Um, a lot of cool pictures people, people doing. We do this little thing called your boon check where you write yourself a check um, about your future dream. It's a process that we do. Here's people writing you know, these checks. Uh, they're getting so much clarity. This guy's like 12 million. I'm like, all right, cool. Um, but he's got a movie that he's working on. So again, this is literal ideas and how do you implement them? Okay, not just have ideas. How do you create a plan to implement them? Um, here's some really cool results. By the way, write this down, okay? 
could you do a pre and post assessment? Okay, we've never done that with any of our courses. We've never had a pre-assessment and a post-assessment. Imagine if you could do that. You do that, I heard you share. The first thing you do is you come in and you do initial assessment. Initial assessment. Gee, you guys are smarter than me, right? You did like percentages, uh, body fat, all that stuff, right? And then you show them after. Well, what I wanted to do was say, okay, when you come into this course and all it is is 30 questions, 10 questions about flow, 10 questions about idea, 10 questions about focus, okay? And they answer the questions themselves. You guys can do these through what? S Survey Monkey? Is that what it's called? Yeah. I mean, there's so many ways you can do this. But we had people take a pre test, and then after the program, we had them do a post test. This becomes your testimonials. These are literally people's numbers. Here's Carla's numbers, right? Idea, she started out with a 90 clarity, then she finished, you know, at 100. Here's uh, Debbie, who again, you know, was getting hacked in a lot of ways, getting a lot better. Here's, uh, here's a guy, Michael, 68%, 96%. These are his own words. I can't change these numbers, um, but it's, it's very cool stuff. Uh, just gonna skip it here. And again, people online can take this. You, here's what you do. Take it and see what we did, okay? Take it and see what we did. Follow other examples so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You will find out that when people take this assessment, we basically give them their score, and then a few days later we say, would you like a free training that helps you close some of these gaps? Does this make sense? You don't just say, oh great, you're a 60. Have a good life, okay? No, you say, by your own words and vote, you are getting hacked in some areas. Would you like a free training on it? And what I give away, <coughs> how many of you have ever heard one of my free trainings? What I give away for free, I'm just being honest, is better than what a lot of people charge for their course. Kathy's shaking her head, true? Oh, absolutely. If you hold back, that's fear-based, scarcity-based. Some of us feel like we only have one trick. If I share that one trick for free and people buy, what are we thinking? Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Here's my point. Were you intelligent enough to come up with your one trick in the beginning? Were you intelligent enough? Or was that given to you, in my book, from God? Did God give you that initial trick, initial knowledge? Yes. So what's kind of the rule if you give it away? You think God's like, well, gee, I really hope he holds on to it or she holds on to it. Doesn't share that with anybody. <coughs> You can either be what? A river or a reservoir. If you say, I got one trick and everyone's got to buy it, and once they buy it, I got nothing else. I believe that as you give, God says, oh, I'm going to give that person more, 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 more. True? This was not even in my mind when Joel was my one person sitting here. I had, all these books that you see in the back, they weren't even around but I gave, 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 and then more came. Does this make sense? All right. First one, pain, pain. I'm gonna, un, I'm gonna get off PowerPoint, I'm gonna stay here, and I'm gonna teach you through the, through the page. You ready? Okay. All right, let's bring up the, the page. Hope this works here, hang on. Okay. There's my scary face. All right, you ready? What do you see at the beginning? What's that? A deadline. Do you think that's important? What do we know about human nature? Wait till the last minute. In fact, that's one of the principles of flow. Do you know why you wait till the last minute? Why, why do you wait till the last minute? Anybody? No pressure. No pressure. What? More pressure? develops an urgency. Here's what I know. I'm just being honest. God has created five neurochemicals in your brain. Brendan knows this, right? Right? Dopamine, anandamide, serotonin, endorphins, right? You guys get this? You have certain neurochemicals that are going off in your brain 
when you have a deadline. You are subconsciously waiting for the endorphin and the adrenaline and flow kick, norepinephrine. So that's why you're waiting for the, the thing. How many of you accomplish way more when you have a deadline? This is called Parkinson's Law. Parkinson's Law said, and, and Pete's my old professor, if Pete assigns the class a project and says it's due, today's September, it's due in December. Parkinson's Law says the more time you have, the more complex the task becomes. Does this make sense? If I say, Kathy, you got an hour to finish that project. It takes me an hour. She's going. But if it takes all semester, when are most people waiting to tour? The last hour. The last hour. <laughs> because your body is craving that kick that it needs to accomplish. So my point is this. We have a deadline not where we penalize, where we reward. Big difference. There are some people who build their business around deadline penalties that hurt. We create deadline penalties that actually benefit action takers. How many of you have ever joined one of our programs and you've actually gotten a lot more bonuses because you were one of the early people? Anybody? So you are building a long-term tribe and if you want action takers, reward them. I see people sabotage their online business all the time. You ready? You ready for a couple of these? Here's one way people do it. They say their offer is done and then what happens the next day with the email? What do they say? Extended. Extended. Our shopping cart broke. So many people just jumped on that the whole thing freaked out and the whole website shut down and so we're going to extend it again. That works one time. That works one time and then people say, what about the person? They don't say what they mean or mean what they say. We've suffered financial pain because we've, we've held the deadlines and stuff like that, okay? Um, so just let that be a point. When people come here, we automatically reward them. And we say, thanks for coming to this page. By the way, there's a video, a short little video. You can have it autoplay. We chose, we test things. We chose not to have this autoplay just because we thought, you know, we want people to not hear it and look and, and miss all of it. So it's a big play button there. You can put text over top. But for that one, we, we didn't put an auto time. We'll see. Right away, I said the first P was what? Remember this? Pain. Pain. Oh, yeah. By the way, the timer gives them $100 off. So the timer says that uh, here's your chance. Here's what it costs. And by the way, it does go up. If the timer is done, it goes up. But we give people a bonus or a benefit if they take action. Because again, uh, here's the law of diminishing intent. In intent. The law of diminishing intent says the longer I wait to do something, the less likely I will ever do it. Is this true? You know, I should really get healthy. Yeah. Tomorrow, you know, I like my chips, you know. The next day, what's the point on Netflix, right? I mean, the longer you wait to make a decision you know you need to, the less likely you will ever make it. That's why as a coach, I push people. Because I know that I may never stand eyeball to eyeball in front of them again, and they may walk away, just like Joel. Joel, imagine if you would have walked away five years ago. No tribe, no clients in the uh, you know publicity thing. I mean, your life would be very different. So when I'm in front of people, and I know they're stuck, and I know I have something that's gonna help them, you gotta be passionate about it. Does this make sense? If you're like, oh well, go away, have a good life. What does Carl Jung say the most damaging thing is in the life of a child? The unlived life of a parent. The unlived life of the parent. The unlived life of the parent, grandparent, uncle, aunt, this is a big game we're talking about, okay? It's not about joining the course. It's about your life, okay? So right away, we, we, I'm talking all about pain. Write this down. In your business, you're either selling vitamins or aspirin. What do I mean? 
In your business, you're either selling vitamins or aspirin. What does that mean? Anybody? Growth or not growth. Growth or not growth? Healthy, healthy or pain? Yeah, alleviating pain or increasing pleasure, right? That's what you're doing, right? Um, I kind of build our business around pain. Why do I do that? Igniting souls. That's aspirational. But I know that my own story was, hey, I was wearing a mask. By the way, your wounds and your shortcomings qualify you. Does this make sense? Yes. Don't think, oh, well, gee, well, if I told them where I've been or what I went through, or, I'm not saying you need to just start by saying your deepest, darkest secret, but I'm telling you, on social media today, what attracts? Clarity, Clarity and authenticity. Clarity and authenticity attract. Whenever I start a post with a, a more honest place of where I've been, instead of, hey, check out this win, you can put the win in, but you share where you've been. You can reach all people that way. Then. Does this make sense? So right away I start with pain and I say, you've been hacked. Are we losing power? Are we good? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, no problem. You've been hacked. You've been hacked. Nobody will know what that means, by the way. I'm just being honest. If you use terms that nobody knows, because what are, did I come to a computer site? Did I come to a phone? What do you mean I'm getting hacked? I right away describe what this means. If you want to follow along on your phone or laptop, that's fine. If Erica can put the link again, this is, write this down. You can study it later. Elixirprojectexperience.com. Elixirprojectexperience.com slash join. Okay? Slash join. Me hacked. Okay? Ever have an amazing idea? I'm not using proper English. I know that. I'm not saying, have you ever had, you see what I'm saying? Why am I doing that? Am I tricking people? Why am I doing this? So you're going to make it short and easy for someone to know without having to read all these words. Yeah. Conversational. Don't people want to do business with people they know, like, like, and trust? If you come off like you're preaching a sermon, like you're you know high up and haughty, or even just extra words, um, I want to be conversational. Ever have an amazing idea? If you're like most people, then you started out excited, ready to implement that idea, but then something happened. Chances are you and your dream got sidelined somewhere along the way. What am I telling, by the way, right now? What am I telling? With this whole thing. Things that happen to you. Right? But what am I telling? True. I'm telling a story. Write this down. Selling is serving. Selling is serving. Marketing is what? Storytelling. You want to be a good salesperson online? Be a good servant. Serve people. You want to be a good marketer? Tell stories. Erica, I gotta feature you here. Erica wrote a story about what the other day? Did anyone read it? Brian, you commented on it. Yeah, absolutely. Her grandma. Grandparents. Her grandparents. Yeah. She told the whole story. I don't even know, how many likes did you get? How many comments? A lot. 125. 125. Anyone have something and they're like, dude, did that, is, am I alive? Has anyone seen, you know, seen anything? She told a story. She did a post about her grandmother waking up as if she was meeting the president and serving her kids every day. And it was just a story about gender, a story about family values. And I heard someone comment on it, this should be a book. Do you see? Someone's already buying her book that's not written. Do you see what I'm saying? And some of us have books and we're like, why is no one buying? It's the way you market it. Cool? Makes sense? All right. And unless you find a how to become unhackable, what does it mean to be hacked? And I just copy and pasted a literal, I don't know, Wikipedia dictionary, you know, the whole thing, straight up, you know? And by the way, blog, website, and I'm use, we're using Optimize Press, which literally allows you to insert, drag and drop, no coding. I don't know how to code. 
I don't know any of this stuff. I don't know any of that stuff. See what I'm saying though? All right. Hack, to gain unauthorized access to a computer or system. Just like phones and computers, people get hacked too. Is that cool? I'm teaching, I'm giving away a lot of stuff, intellectual property on this page, right? A deeper look reveals that your body is comprised of systems and your brain is like a computer. The result, you get hacked as to their ideas, dreams, and goals. Pictures, people do not want to go to a website and see text, 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 right? Do not use copywritten pictures. You could get busted. I grab legitimate, you know, I'm going to give you some website for free stock photos. You ready? All right. Unsplash.com, U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H.com. Uh, I believe it's called Plexus.com. Pixabay is another one. What was the one, Brian? It's Pexels. P -E -X -E -L -S. Pexels. There you go. Say it again. P-E-X-E-L-S. -E 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 Those are just a few. There's a lot of them out there. Just type in free stock photo or whatever. But right away, again, this is called a what? What is this whole page called? I know I, know I said it fast. A transformation invitation. Okay, I call it a TI, a transformation invitation. Your brain is like a computer. Your body is made up of systems. Do you see? I'm not just saying, hey, I came up with this little idea. I'm showing your, your brain is like a computer. Your body's made up of systems. You tracking so far? Because I'm telling you, this is a hard course to sell. I needed to educate people first. No one's walking around saying, you know what? I feel hacked. Oh look, there's a program called Elixir Project Experience. I want that. I knew that I was gonna have to teach people that they're getting hacked. Does this make sense? Um, what if you were unhackable? Right now what I'm doing is I'm still in the pain, the, the, the pain part, okay? Pain, write this down. Here's the six tips. One, and Erica if you can do this. Number one, pain, identify, the problem. Identify the problem. That's what I was in up there, okay? Does this make sense? Number two, proof. Proof, okay? Uh, proof is story tell the solution. Story tell the solution. You're gonna see a bunch of stories here coming up, how I story tell the solution. By the way, how many of you are in EPX? You're in it right now, raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay, so a bunch of these people are in it. What if you were unhackable? I want to paint a picture, okay? I want to paint a picture uh, of, of what's happening. What if you had the power to create ideas and implement them effectively and efficiently, okay? What if you had the ability to architect your attention and invest in the in things important to you? We're using different colors. If it's just white, 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 or black, 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 you gotta have, you gotta have stripes that pop, okay? Some of this is steak, some of this is sizzle. Get the difference, okay? What if you had the knowledge to find and utilize the needed resources to accomplish your dream? What if you had the understanding to exponentially increase your impact upon the world? What if you had the secret to organize your life around flow where you feel your best and do your best? By the way, all of this is used when I get on podcasts, repurpose is like, oh, I created some. What else could I use it for? Everything I create in our business is pre-purposed, which means, okay, I'm gonna write that book, I'm gonna teach it in the fellowship, I'm gonna expound upon it in a paid course, I'm gonna teach it at this men's conference, boom, 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 boom. Does this make sense? That way you, you blog post, you know, all kinds of stuff that you don't have to be constantly creating massive count content. Um, the answer is you can get started now. This is like the top quarter of the page and we already have a get started now button. Some of our people, uh, haven't you ever hated it when you have to scroll 50,000 scrolls down to see like how much the thing costs? Is this true? Yes. <laughs> is there, it, it, does it work? Let's just be, let's just be honest, does it work? No. Not really? Even if it works, I don't want people to be stressed and frustrated. 
I would rather have people be like, right away, who did they meet right away? And I don't come off as like high and haughty. Why do you think I often say I'm just, I'm just a guy with a girl's name? Why do you think I say that? Is that just because of the heck of it? Why do I do that? Just to be honest, why do I do it? Look, haven't you ever hated someone who's speaking? Let's be honest. Have you ever just hated somebody? They don't even say anything, and they come in the room, and you're just like, I hate that dude. <laughs> why do you hate that dude, or that girl, or that guy? Arrogant. Arrogant. If you view yourself, write this down, sage Sherpa struggler. Sage, S-A-G-E, I think. Sherpa struggler. You will be presenting yourself in the business world as one of those three people. If you present yourself as a sage, you can be successful. It's come, come to me, all you who are lowly, sit at my feet, I'll be in my robe, and I will dispo, you know, I will expound upon my great mysteries of the world. Have, is, are there people like that? Yeah. Are, are some successful? Some are. I prefer Sherpa. This is how I write my books, this is how I speak. Sherpa is, you know what? I've been stuck. But you know what, I found some shortcuts up the mountain. I'd love to help spare you some pain you want to go with me together? Or what do you think struggler is? Is there anybody who's ever written a book from a struggler perspective that's been successful? I can think of one right off the top of my head. Blue Light Jazz by Donald Miller. It's a book where he's like, I don't know if this whole faith thing is even real. It's pretty messed up. You know, Rob Bell. I mean, there's a lot of people back in my day when I was in the church world that wrote those types of books, that their audience just were like, yes, I think you know, Christianity is messed up too. And you know, maybe we can find a solution together, maybe. Okay, but there's a lot of gurus and thought leaders. What one are you? You, you can go wrong if you present yourself as a sage and you're really a struggler. You'll be found out quickly. Okay? But which one do you like? That's just my question. Okay, Think about that. Which one, are, which one do you like? Which one are you going to come off? Um, all right. Then we introduce, quote, the product. Introducing, uh, you know, 30 days to experiencing unhackability in work and life. Elixir Project experience. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into number two. This is the second one. Proof. Proof. Story tell the solution. So what was number one? Pain. Pain. And what was the little tagline? Identify. Identify the problem. Number two, proof. Story tell the solution. And I'm just going straight with me. By the way, this is called Hero's Journey. Does anyone know Hero's Journey? Yeah. Hero's Journey is, I lived in the ordinary world. By the way, this is Star Wars. Lord of the Rings. This is how most movies are made after Joseph Campbell, mono myth, right? The hero with a thousand faces, right? This is all the hero's journey perspective. But it's, hey, I was stuck. Hey, I couldn't figure out a solution. Hey, I went on a journey, faced all kinds of issues and problems and giants. But you know what? The biggest giant was me. I had to deal with my own gaps, my own shortcomings. And you know what? I figured a solution. And I'm coming back and I'm sharing it with you today. Anyone like that approach? Why is that better than saying, you have a problem and we have a solution? What do you think? That was like 80s infomercial, right? You don't have hair, man. You know? We have a solution. And it's all these guys with hair and, you know, right? But today, today it's like, you know what? I struggled. I didn't know how to turn my, my home into a bed and breakfast. I love hospitality, but I didn't know how to express that. I didn't know how to get zoning, right? This is all true for you, Kathy. And now you're on Facebook and you're taking clients and you have a bed and breakfast. So these are some pretty big wins, by the way. 
But I use these wins, I archive everything. If I'm ever somewhere, I'm like, Psh, I photo, I photo. Why? Because I just know that it's gonna be used sometime. So here was my idea. I wanna launch my book with Shawshank <coughs> celebrities. That's the idea. Notice how I say the idea, all caps, big, the outcome. I'm gonna use a plan right here. The idea, the outcome. I'm gonna do this three times, okay? I'm really big into parallelism, okay? Meaning, show the same thing two or three different times using similar words. Does this make sense? So, right here, I use a date in 2013. By the way, it's brighter on the website. It's a little bit faint here. Maybe I should change that to white, who knows? See, see mistakes. All right, I, in 2013, I knew I needed to experience unhackability. Here was my idea, picture, idea, here's the outcome. It actually happened. Now I don't just say, oh, it happened, it's great. Look, here's the actual pictures with me and the warden, and me at the cocktail party. And, and this is the warden from Shawshank. Again, storytelling. I'm storytelling the solution. Next one, in 2014, I knew I needed to experience unhackability. The idea, how do I create an industry-shifting publishing business called Author Academy Elite? The idea, the outcome, okay? Boom, boom, you get that? You're just sharing it. And some of us are saying, but Carrie, I don't have big wins. Hold on, David and Goliath. David and Goliath. What did David reference when he was about to face the big old giant? What did he tell the King Saul who was like, Dude, you got nothing. You're a little kid. What did he I say? I fought a bear. I fought a lion. I fought a bear. I fought a lion. I killed them both. Oh, great. You should face the world's biggest enemy called Goliath. You're in. But it worked. He had confidence. Some of you are belittling your small wins. And your small wins are creating a small why. You want a big win? You got to have a big why. Does this make sense? Okay, how's the online people doing? Are they doing well? Good. Okay, here's a picture. How many, some of you are in this picture. If you're in this picture, raise your hand. Anybody? Yeah, all right. I only use two. I use two. See, lion and a bear. That's all you need, lion and a bear. Forget three. You don't need three. All right, just a lion and a bear. We saw our clients getting hacked. Oh, problem, solution. A lot of our clients had the best ideas, but they got sidelined. This bugged me, so I went out for two years and tried to find a solution, and guess what? I studied neurobiology, productivity, high performance, success, science, technology, many other disciplines, and here's the paradigm, idea, focus, and flow. I began teaching how to experience unhackability, okay? By the way, Chaz, who just, just came in, Let's give Chaz a hand, because he's, he's why we're here today, okay? Awesome. But th this is a cool story. Guys, this is a small little win. Do you, by the way, how long do you think this page took me to, to, to create? Dates. Dates. It's a true story. Absolutely true story. Most people are like, ah, how do I create my sales sheet? Oh, here's a box. Anybody? This took me dates to map out, get pictures, think, psychology, process. Should that be a win? Should I use that? I mean, now it's here forever, okay? How many um, students joined our first class? Anybody remember? Over what? Over 100. How much does the course cost? 500, do the math. How much income is that? 100 times 500. I don't know, I'm not good at math. This is where David comes in. 50,000, right? I think. Is that worth a few days of work? Is it, is it worth a few days of work? It is, but you have, look, that's where we are today. We didn't start there. I started with a 197 course for Joel. You know, hey Joel, do you wanna join my course? Nobody else has ever joined it before. Hey, it's 197. See? Don't compare your current state to somebody's future state. You see what I'm saying? You gotta start small. 
So you have a you have a thirty nine dollar program. Sweet, that's great. You know, every time you get a, a sale, you you just do a dance. You do a happy dance. I get to serve somebody. Okay. Here's Brian. I tell a story. Meet Brian. He's a husband. He's a father. I called him. Can I use your picture with your kid? He's cute. Um, he was working an hourly job at a furniture store. By using his woodworking skills, he repaired damaged uh, furniture. With a second baby on the way, he needed to make major adjustments to support his family. He contacted me to see if I'd coach him on implementing his idea. Chaz is in the picture. Remember this, Chaz? Chaz asked me to speak to his men's group, and I said to Brian, it's two hours there, I think, it's two hours back, come in the car, I'll tell you everything that I know about unhackability, okay? Ideation, implementation, idea focus flow. Brian was an action taker. Brian sat there, and he said, you know what, Carrie, I love this, and I'm gonna do it. You know what his biggest hangup was? True story, you know what his biggest hangup was? His biggest hangup was, I did free work for a guy who promised me a website and the guy will not deliver the website. I solved it for him in 10 seconds. You know what my advice was? Bill him. Bill him, <laughs> exactly. I said, go send that boy a nice little bill and say, hey, um, I know it's been a few months and you've been delaying on the website. No problem, it's totally fine. In fact, here's an invoice for the work I did and if you can pay it at the end of the week, it's $2,000. Guess how fast that guy put that website together. See, sometimes we're just stuck. We're, we're stuck because we think I don't have and it's all it takes is a truth teller to say, bill him. We're talking in weeks, he created his logo. He created natural wood mirrors. By the way, you can all look it up on Facebook, on your phone if you want. He's crushing it, okay? He's ready, he took action. Guess what happens? The Shawshank tree falls a few months later. Seriously, this is a true story, right? Did you know this, this happened last August? Brian calls me and he's like, Carrie, the Shawshank tree fell. I'm like, I know. He says, I want the wood. And I'm like, okay. And he said, do, do you have any connections? And I said, well, I have one. Here it is. He called that same day, because it was all over Hollywood News, over 300 people called. This is Mansfield, Ohio, just up the road. They give the tree to Brian. Okay? I think God is on our side when we take action. When we sit around and we're like, well, you know, nothing's happening. I mean... I'm making 10 bucks an hour at a furniture place and you know I got this big idea. Brian took action. Here's my quote. When you're prepared for the moment, the moment is prepared for you. Brian was ready and God said, boom, Shawshank tree, you're done. And it, and it happened. Guess what happens? His first piece, the first piece of a very big tree, three bids over $10,000 on eBay. He was on local news. He was on the front page of the Parade of Homes, eye candy. He created this table. And there's me with video in Brian's wood shop interviewing him. Again, multiple days to create this transformation invitation page, but it's worth it. Does this make sense? Get started now. Again, several times you want to do get started now. Now, oh by the way, that was the third step. Brian was the third piece. P, picture, paint the picture. Paint the picture. So what I did with Brian is I painted the picture. I gave the viewer a picture of what's possible. Does this make sense? Some of you have been in your jobs for in your, let, let, let's ask this question. How many of you have been in a profession for over five years? Raise your hand. Any profession, over five years, over 10 years, 15, 20, 25. Look at this, look at this. Here's my point. You are rock stars in the industry in your profession, but here's what happens when I coach people all the time. Yeah, but that's when I was employed 
by the man. And now I want to go out on my own. But you're the same person. Yeah, but the man used to pay me, or the woman, and now I'm going out on my own. Yeah, but you're still a, you still do what you do. You see how our own self, let me believe, prevents us? And actually, write this down, clarity attracts, confusion repels. People can feel when you're confused. Well, you're telling me you've been in the profession for 20 years, so you're a coach. No, no, I'm, I'm just starting my coaching business. Right, Brian? I had this chat with you a little bit. You've been doing this for 30 years, Brian. Don't say you're just starting your coaching business. Have you helped people in the last 30 years? Have you coached them? Okay, great. You've been coaching for 30 years. You see what I'm saying? All right. Um, now we go into what if you experience unhackability. Here's a few of our clients. By the way, sold out, sold out conference last October. And the haters told me, because we all have haters, we all have like two. I got two haters. They told me you will never sell a course or sell a conference on a fiction book. Here's the pick, here's the proof. You see that you're gonna have people come up to you and be like, you can't do that. You mean you're gonna do a course on bed and breakfast? Is that even legal? You know, you see what I'm saying? And then you're like, well, I don't know, maybe it's not legal. Maybe I shouldn't do it. You see? My phrase is when a hater tells you something, what do you say, not to their face, but in your head, what do you say? Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. All right, thank you, watch me. All right, now what I'm doing is the fourth step process. Show the steps. Show the steps. Elixir Project is, experience is right for you if you want to. Boom, 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 boom. Have you seen this before on the page? You did. You actually did. You saw it on the page, it was in black and white up above. Now I'm putting it in check marks. I'm saying it again for emphasis. Does the scripture ever say anything the same, same thing? Right? Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say to you, that is all the time. It means like, this is important, okay? Now what I'm doing is I'm actually taking them through the, the, the four step again, this process, show the steps. I'm taking them through the steps. Here's what we're gonna do through, through the steps. So I say you're gonna get five exclusive training webinars. How many of you were on those webinars? Some of you? Excellent. Okay, and then I look for three. Three top, top of the waves. You do not wanna put everything in your course. It will kill people. A couple sentence, italicized, boom, boom, boom. Does this make sense? Then I say you're gonna get 30 plus videos dripped on a daily basis, okay? That means day one, boom, video, just from Carrie, EPX guidebook. How many of you are, your printer's mad because this is so long? The EPX guidebook is 333 pages. I'm not even joking. It's all interactive, you click a button, a video pops up, it can be all done in Word conversion to PDF. But, by the way, can I, can I just have a confession? How many of you bought that at the conference? Raise your hand, raise them high, raise them high, okay. And I told you this, this wasn't deception. I told you, it's not built yet. Now think about that. These people are, the, are either geniuses or they're not. Why was I able to do that? Why were we able to sell 50 people into the course without it being built? Trust. Experience. Experience. I bought something before. I, I, I hear what he's saying. I don't know what it fully is. The fact he's telling me it's not even fully built, that's even more credibility. Guys, Kickstarter. What is Kickstarter? Kickstarter is you buying it and they're saying it's not built. What is GoFundMe? What is your Disney vacation that you have to pay in full before you even step in to the Magic Kingdom? Movie trailers are selling you on a film that isn't even made fully yet. Write this down, market before you manufacture. Market before you manufacture. You have to get over the fact, in fact, I'm gonna tell you something, it's probably gonna shock you. It is foolish for you to create your course before you sell it. Wow. Did you see what I just said? 
it's foolish for you to create your course in full before you sell it. Why would I say that? You don't know if it's worth your time? Ever spend 18, 18 months of your life creating something? And then you go out to the world and you say, I got this thing. You haven't seen me for 18 months because I've been building it. And all you hear is crickets. Is that frustrating? Yeah. I would rather you do this. Get on a free conference call. It's called freeconferencing.com. You can get your own number with your own pin. You put your call on Eventbrite. Eventbrite is how you guys signed up today. Eventbrite's free. Eventbrite's free. Freeconferencing.com is free. You say, I'm having a call about this. Copy my page. Use your own template. And then you say, at the very beginning, just like I did, I'm going to give you 60 minutes of value. I'm going to share with you my very best. But we don't have time to talk about all the topics. Obviously, this is a deep topic. So at the very end, for those of you interested, I'm going to invite you into a process where you can engage more in depth in the program. The program is current, and then that's it. Then you just give value, 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 value. And then at the end, you say, hope you guys had a great time. Um, and by the way, all the time I'm doing conference calls, I'm asking people to respond. All the time I'm doing a webinar. I don't just lecture. I say, is this making sense? How many of you, how many of you like that? How many of you, uh, you know, if that, if that made sense, write, write in the word, hey. I'm constantly engaging people. Then at the end you say, our course has an introductory uh, price of $497. After that, it's moving up to $697. We're gonna, we're gonna begin in 60 days, and, or 30 days, whatever, and the first 10 people get an extra complimentary coaching session with me where I'll evaluate whatever. Folks, if you get zero buyers, you just had an hour phone call. That's it. And you got good, and you practice, and you learn technology. If one person buys, what do you think? In the very beginning, when one person bought, what do you think I said? Here we go. Here we go. I said, awesome, I'm so excited, and that became the fuel, right, that, that deadline, oh my gosh, I'm like, I have a buyer, I'm going to create the best course in the world for this one person. What do you think happened to, during those 30 days as I met people at Starbucks and, and the library? What do you think I s told them? Well, first of all, you had a lot more clarity. Yeah? Because you took Because I'm working the content? Yeah? Mm -hmm. But you, would, you don't have to be around me for two seconds. Oh, i got to show you this. No, you're on my phone. I can't show you. Um, the other day, I'm not even kidding. I'm in the library doing uh, a webinar. That's a weird place, I know, but I'm doing it. It's a closed room. A lady slips a note underneath the door. I took a picture of it. You were being so loud. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I love what you were saying. Here's, <laughs> here's my phone number. Here's my uh, email. I, I want you know to work with you. You're electric when you're electric. Does this make sense? I, it, it's on my photo. I'll put it on the tribe later. That's what I've sent. You got one buyer, you're amped, and you're creating it, okay? I gotta go quick, I know. Hang with me, guys, it's all good. I go over the whole process, I show the steps. I always give lifetime access to any program. You join a program for me, with me, I'm not in Hawaii on a beach. Every day I'm showing up saying, what do you need? Who does that? I don't know anybody else who does that. They're, they're, they're minions that they think run the thing. We don't do that here. We have teammates, nobody works for me, we're all teammates, and I show up every day excited and say, what do you need, what do you need? Um, then we give bonuses, we always give bonuses as well, okay? You gotta give bonuses. Bonuses don't need to be crazy big stuff, they could be a PDF, or 10 tips, or you know, 15 shortcuts, or you know, for you it could be healthy eating, you know, 10, 10 fantastic sites for organic food, whatever. You don't even need to develop them. You know, you, you list them. 
It, it's, it's, our, it's our special Rolodex of menu, menu items, which by the way could have affiliate links that they click and you get paid for. You see this? You see where this comes from? Or if it's products on Amazon, you join Amazon Associates uh, and you get your affiliate link when you link to a product. This is how you do it, guys, okay? Uh, then the content. I literally go through the content. Module one is the unveiling. Notice italicized bullet point, bullet point, bullet point, okay? Number two, flawless idea anatomy, okay? I basically say, here's how you create your idea. Module one, what are the stakes for you getting hacked? If you don't think getting hacked is a bad thing, you're gonna keep getting hacked. Number two, flawless idea anatomy. We're gonna talk all about what made JFK's Man on the Moon idea work, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech work, Jesus Christ's Sermon on the Mount, Carrie getting Shawshank celebrities, start an author academy elite. What are the components for flawless ideas? Boom, we teach you all of them. Then we move into focus, deliberate magnetic focus. The average person today touches, clicks, swipes their smartphone 2,600 times a day. 2,600 times a day. Five hours worth compared with their browser and their smartphone. Most of those are 30 second bursts, which means that their whole day is distracted work. That's hacking you. And we're gonna teach you through focus filters how to avoid that. Then we move into flow. Flow is the optimal state of human performance. It's why surfers only 20 years ago dropped into 25 foot waves and today they do 100 foot waves. Why snowboarders in 1992 cleared 40 foot jumps, today it's 240, okay? Why the military is able to cut sniper training in half, this is all because of flow and Brendan knows a lot about it too. Then we move into what's called your Boone Ceremony. This is the deliverable. This is the Boone speech. This is the Boone Ceremony. I, I talk about what Boone means, but it's your biggest goal, your deepest dream. And then here's the bonuses. And, and by the way, number five, write this down. We'll go five and six quick. By this people, reveal the results, reveal the results, testimony, 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 testimony. When people bought, did I have any testimonies? When, when people first bought? No. You know, I had Brian, but I didn't, I didn't have this section all fulfilled out. Great. This is January 20th, like a week ago, two weeks ago. I'm sharing results, okay? Results, 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 results. Number six, purchase. Give them the invitation. Give them the invitation. All right? So... You guys got all the six steps? Yeah. And literally, just like I always do for the new people, I'm gonna give you guys invitations if you wanna join Elixir Project Experience. If you're new, just raise your hand, I'll give it to you, you can look at it. Um, Renee, can you, can you pass out some of those? Awesome, okay, fantastic, okay. So just like you guys get that $100 off online, if, if Erica can share the link, I always stack the value. This is intentional. I literally go in and I think, how much is this valued at? If I were to go into the corporate world, which I do often, and charge them for my time, what would be the value? You want to do that, okay? Just like Caleb would show, okay, we're going to come in and do this, then we're going to do this, Chris, your networking thing, this, 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 this. The course value is 2788, okay? The regular price is $597, and, the, and you guys get $100 off, okay? Choose your payment option below. I like to do payment plans. I know that if people do the program, remember, credit card is two payments, right? It goes up a little bit more if, if you do two payments. But by 60 days, they will be having so much success, right? Look at Joel, look at, look at some of these other people that they will be able to afford it. Look, people are always scared to make movement. Our default is inaction as, as, as a human population. What people forget is that there is a cost of not deciding. See, so many times we think, well, if I have a decision, I have a cost. But if I stay the same, 
there's no cost. Has staying stuck ever cost anyone anything? Absolutely. I knew in my life, when I was a, a pastor of 12 years, by the way, I'm not afraid to say that, it's all good, but I was a pastor for 12 years, and I was 80% alive, but what does that mean? 20% dead. And I was writing book and book and doing talk and talk, and I said, I love these people that I'm serving, but I have a bigger dream. I have a bigger vision. And I knew for a lot of years I sat and sat and sat and sat, stuck, 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 fear, fear, fear. I was scared to invest in myself. And what I was telling the world is, hey, I'm not investing in me, but hey, come invest in what I'm doing. What do we call that? It starts with an H. Hypocrites. I'm not investing in myself, but hey world, you know, join me in what I'm doing. And there was a disconnect, and even though people didn't know that, they could feel it. When you invest in yourself and you're investing at a high level with attention, time, and energy, and effort, you show up differently. So much so that a lady through brick walls, not brick glass, can slip a note under and be like, whatever you got, I want, okay? All right, um, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go back to my PowerPoint, and I'm going to take a couple questions. If, if you absolutely gotta run, great, but sometimes the best gold is in the questions um, that sometimes people ask. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to questions here in a second. And who's got a question, anybody? Anybody have a question today? Yes, Chantel Marie, ask it really loud. Yes, I want to know if you say you make this page, do you write it on the paper or you do it yourself? Or David does it? Okay, so I created that page. David might have added like the link to the shopping cart. PayPal, by the way, PayPal, there's a lot of places, folks, that you can get free. Uh, Something junky, it's got the word junky in it. What is it, e junky? Look, you can get a lot of stuff, folks, that you don't need a website, you just tie your bank account, you can receive money. How I create that is I, if I, if I didn't have optimized press, I would use a whiteboard. I love whiteboards. So I would probably write out pain, you know, process, picture, da 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 da. And I would, um, I would start, you know, inventorying my assets. I always build a, a sales page, a, a TI around a person. Brian was that person. Charles is day job to dream job. You've heard Charles speak. He's about that tall. He's the old guy who went pro with his passion. He shared here a year ago. You know, left his corporate job. But I build a transformation invitation usually around my own story. Notice it was celebrities of Shawshank, author, Academy Lee. But just start getting in touch with you. Stop watching reality TV. I'm gonna get on my hobby horse here. Stop watching everybody else's life and start saying, you know, what kind of story have I gone through? What kind of pain? What kind of hero's journey? And start getting in touch with you again. So many of us adults have lost ourselves. You ask a kid what's your dream, the kid will tell you in three seconds. You ask an adult, they're like, I don't have a dream. Okay, dream, it's not dream discovery, it's dream recovery, okay? And I teach you to start feeling again. Why do we cut off and build walls around our heart? Less pain. We build a wall around our heart because we don't have to feel. How do I know this? I'm qualified to teach on this because I was a self-injure. No one's getting in. I'll control my pain through cutting. You know, no one's coming in. Well, when you do that, you don't feel pain, but you don't feel love. You don't feel dreams either, okay? Any other questions? That was a good one. Yeah, Brenda and then Pat. You said initially you don't have to have a website. Right, teachable.com yeah. will actually allow you to, uh, I'm gonna go to Joel's for a second, okay? Should I go to Joel's? Well, I was just thinking okay. of it in the context of I do have a website. You do have a website. But you said you were using WordPress to create the space. So if a person doesn't have a website, yeah. 
then how do they teachable dot com. That, that's teachable is what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Okay, gotcha. You can make teachable. I'm gonna just gonna you take you to. Teachable. Uh, you can. Okay. I'm gonna just take you there so you know. I believe it's joelkessel.com/carry. Um, K E S S E L dot com slash K A R Y. We'll see. If, we'll see what happens. So, what this does, if you don't have a website, folks, but you have a smartphone, boom, thirty days to a bigger stage. Get started. Joel kind of copied me a little. That's okay. This is what I teach. I teach my clients, like, look, don't do it yourself, right? Percentage, boom, 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 right? I can help you do this. Again, you don't maybe have all the stripes, bells, and whistles. Oh, there's me. Look at that. You know, I, I give them credibility, testimonial. Look, if you become one of my clients, I'm your fan. Okay, I'm your fan. I believe in you more than you believe in you. I'm just being honest. Is this true? Is this true? I'm like Jillian Michaels for, for personal growth. Okay, I won't swear at you, okay? But then, oh look at here's that woman that I told you about, that Joel was smart, you know? And, and helped Joanne Miller, wife of New York Times bestselling author, Dan Miller, 48 Days of the Work You Love, right? There's your instructor, Joel, there's a little bio. Here's the curriculum. You can actually unlock this. I almost unplugged everything. That would have been fun. Um, you can unlock this so they get a Jimmy Dean sauce strategy. Ooh, I want that, I want that one. This is Joel with an iPhone. Maybe, I don't know, I think. But a Joby tripod, J-O-B-Y, J-O-B-Y, Joby tripod, $29.99 or $19.99. You put the tripod up, you hit play, you teach your content, you upload it. Minute 50, 1105, 842, 428, 632, module one, two, three, four, five, six. Frequently asked questions, get started now. Different levels, enroll in the course. What if I'm unhappy with the course? I mean, you don't need all the bells and whistles. What I see the mistake today is that people say, look at all their bells and whistles, that's why I'm not being successful. Lie, it's an absolute lie. Some of you bought Deeper Path the first time we ever did it. I was in David's kitchen with a chandelier above my head and we're rolling. I mean, it was bad quality, excellent content. What did we do when we could afford it? Reshot the course, had curtains, you know, a stage thing, lights. Look, so many, I know a guy who's making eight figures and he started with a duct tape flip camera to a box. I'm serious. Because they didn't have tripod. He, didn't, he couldn't even buy a tripod back then. Okay, all I'm saying is, while you're thinking and, and messing your, hacking yourself, another person is like Fran, who says, I'm scared to death. By the way, I'm scared to death every day. Every day. But Fran's scared to death, and she's going, boom. She's got comments and visitors and likes. Somebody else has a question. By the way, I'm just gonna push you guys a little bit and say if you came today as a guest, I love it. Come back every month for free, as long as you want, no worries. But like, give me a reason, you don't have, I'm not gonna stop you at the door. Give me a reason why you wouldn't join Elixir Project Experience. If you got value today, and you're like, this dude knows his stuff, he's teaching his stuff, don't stay stuck. Staying stuck costs a lot more than taking action. Now if I don't if I don't resonate with you, don't ever come back, you know? Don't hack yourself and listen to me again. So I I, I know that you'll know if I'm a truth teller and if I make sense. And if so, great. But if not, move on. Life's short, you know? Alright, who's next? Yeah. Oh there's there one online? online? Okay. We'll go to the one online then we'll go to Fran. Okay. And Eric, Pat had one too. Eric Eaton, how much content do you create to make you comfortable enough to promote? How much content do you teach? Create. Create to make yourself comfortable enough to promote? Mm -hmm. Enough to do your Jimmy Dean sausage lesson, which I think average call 60 minutes. If you do Q&A, you could do that 20. Check this out, 60 minutes, 20 minutes of content, 20 minutes of invitation, 
20 minutes of Q&A. So enough for 20 minutes, okay? And by the way, I teach something called a one sheet. You guys know this. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. That's how you know enough to sell people. Who's this course for? What is it about? When is it starting? Never put TBA. If you put TBA or TBD, you're done. Like you're done. Your course is done. You're not gonna sell anything ever. Because you just said, I'm not ready. And if, because you said you're not ready, they're not ready. We start a lecture project experience today. The day you join, you're automatically sent the first master class. We roll, okay? Um, sorry, Pat, go for it. When you showed us what you did for the Alexa project, was that something that you actually used with your other programs first? Is there like yeah. you gave us success? Actually, Erica's got all the links, and she actually, the, the, the talk today, this is why I love it. And by the way, I was the one opposed to live streaming this, just being honest. You know, I, I was the one who was like, oh, we can't live stream that. You know, why? I don't know, because I'm, I'm an idiot. I don't know. No, because I felt like, well, if we live stream it, you know, then people might not come. It's a full room today. You know, limited thinking, scarcity minded thinking. So the first time, and, and, I, and I thought I wouldn't be able to serve you and them at the same time. I thought I would get hacked, like I couldn't serve you and them. So anyway, Pat, every link that we have, I give you the, your secret name sales page, Deeper Path sales page, Dream Job Bootcamp sales page, My Book Blueprint sales page. You go to the Carryover Runner Author page, you can listen to this again and again, you can study our templates, go for it, okay? Rebecca. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, earlier you were saying, you know, if somebody comes to United Soul, they will join the close room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't just plug in, you direct them. You know? we, yeah, there's a. How do you do yeah. that tactfully so it doesn't feel like a rejection? Let's, and it's not, you know, I don't know if you have the exact email, but I'll kind of re quote it, okay? By the way, I have friends, like people I used to pass to request to join. What are you going to tell your former sheep? <laughs> Same thing, right? I tell them something like, and I used to be the one to respond. Now, you know, we've grown. Erica does it. But it's something like, Thank you so much for expressing interest in the best tribe in the world or something. I don't know, I'm making this up. Igniting Souls Tribe. Um, we are thrilled to help you on your journey. This Facebook group is a private group for, for Carrie's clients. We would love for you uh, to become one if that makes sense for you. If it doesn't, uh, and then it might be like a link. If it doesn't, please uh, use these free resources to help you on your journey as you become a soul on fire. You know? It's so you something said like that. Free resources first both. Or for both? I think we do both. I, oh, I see. So yeah. Free resources and some that yeah. pay for it either way. Okay. Yeah. I mean, don't leave them away empty handed. Yeah. I've had plenty of people, you know, you in the back. Is it Bonnie? Bonnie. Bonnie, you came up to me and said, I interviewed you a year ago uh -huh. for an Author Academy Elite program. Yeah. For whatever reason, you know, she didn't feel like it was the right time or right program or whatever, who knows. But you said, I've been listening to your yeah. podcast or mm -hmm. Facebook posts or something. So again, I've had that happen so many times where someone's like, you know, they're not ready. In fact, Brendan, was that true for you too? It might have been yeah. true for you. Yeah. For you. I don't know, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but for a short time or a time or a long time? Uh, well, I met you seven years ago. Seven years ago. But I have been on a journey of similar content. Okay. Like yeah. Dan Miller, sure. Tribe, and all that yeah. for years. So it was only in when this kind of yeah. intersected at last. <laughs> yeah. And let me just ask you a question. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but anyone who's been in that camp where they heard about me or something like that, um, when you engaged in a paid program with a course where you were part of the tribe, did it amplify your energy? Did did you? Oh, for sure. Okay. Well, well, first I hired you to coach me personally for a day. That's right. And so that you know had a sort of lead right. in, and then went off to something. Yeah. It turned out it was a similar thing. Yeah. For a year, came back. Came back. But yeah. yes, I haven't spoken to you yet for 
question, but day 27, I had a um, seismic shift of perspective. <coughs> wow. So, so in Elixir Project Experience, yes. day 27, you yes. had a big seismic shift. Awesome. So this is what you do. I never am mad when someone doesn't join or I've had people sit in the back of the room for four years and I'm thinking like, okay, is something getting through? Do they like bald people with girls' names? I don't know. But then they join a program and, you know, why? Because it's like a magnifying glass. You can slow bake under the sun and never get a tan. You know, this, I'm going to go out in the sun for a day, a month, come back. You know, you put a magnifying glass under and in three minutes, you know, same sun, same skin, amplification of energy. And that's what the tribe is. The tribe does that. You ask the question, and then I'll go to Fran. Yes. Um, so I run a website that connects authors to uh, buyers that want to get custom offers. Okay. And, um, you connect um, authors to? Authors. Artists. Artists. Yeah. Okay. People want to get custom portraits. Custom portraits. And um, we've been thinking about experimenting with uh, webinars. And yeah. Let's see if that's something we might do, you know, which will help uh, in your experience. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, 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 sure, sure. So I just want to make sure I understood. You connect artists with people who want portraits to be done. Here's what I would do. Totally, I would do this, all right? Live stream an example. I would get permission to go to Easton or Polaris or somewhere where there's a lot of people, a park. Because here, here's the thing. You, go to, you do go to webinar, okay, you, you do go to webinar, you're now paying 97 to 397 a month for a webinar service, whether you use it 24 seven or one time a month or no time a month. Then you gotta get traffic on your webinar. So you gotta run paid Facebook ads, okay? My point is this, or you get your phone and you live stream a portrait being done or different segments, you know, 15 minute increments and you do that in a public place, and that's what's gonna hit, you know? No, no paid traffic, you get a lot of your friends to share it, and you have an offer. I would have a PDF download. Why, why, do, you want a, why do you want a PDF download? We call this a lead magnet. Why do you want a lead magnet? Anybody? People's email. You do not want to have a, a store opening at Easton where you get violinists, hors d'oeuvres, and you say, come to the big blast, they all come, eat all your food, and then you never see them again in your life. What you want to do is you want to get their email address through a valuable lead magnet, okay? You can do this for free. It's called MailChimp. It's called AWeber. It's called Constant Contact. MailChimp's free, but you offer a free PDF, just like Erica did today, all while during the webinar, she's, she's offering something today. Do what we did, Facebook Live, free, you know? And you have uh, candy, and you say to the people who are around you, if you share this, go, go pull out a candy bar. If you go share this on Facebook, go pull out a candy bar. People will be, you know, people do anything for candy. All right, people will be opening their phones, sharing it. Now your Facebook Live is suddenly 300 people, and every 10 minutes you offer your PDF that says 10 things you need to know before you hire someone to do a portrait, or 10 reasons why a portrait makes sense, a legacy piece, whatever, whatever, whatever. Does this make sense? So much easier than buying go to webinar, running Facebook ads. You know, I just saved you a thousand dollars. Like, really? Okay. And all you gotta do is buy candy. All right. <laughs> Anybody else? Questions, comments, thoughts? Fran. Um, my question was like to do teachable. Teachable, yeah. I like to do like I've done it for the project. And yes. Flow. Yes. And the worst thing I hate is when I'm in flow and then I gotta stop. Yep. Because somebody needs something and at home I right. Right. We do recommend going away then and just taking time away to like 
Yeah, so one of our people who joined Elixir Plastic Experiment, uh, Experience, Terry, remember Terry, the woman? She said that she went to a monastery for two days and she finished her whole book proposal. I aim for uninterrupted sessions. Even if you say, Carrie, I only got 60. I, you would be shocked at how early I woke up this morning. Just being, a, being real. You'd be, you'd be shocked. I'll go to bed early tonight. Okay? But the point is this. My three kids and wife are sleeping at 3.30 a.m. They just talk. Okay? They just talk. All right? I knew to show up filled up today, I had to prepare and tweak a few things. So I did it. Okay? Then I worked out, right? With Chet and the crazy people. Um, my point is this. Like, if you got a 60-minute jam session mm -hmm. at 10 at night, do it. 60 minutes of flow is a lot better than six hours of getting pinged. Whenever I'm working, I always have headphones in. I can be anywhere. I can live, the world can be falling down and, and I'm, on, I'm in a soundtrack without words. I've given you guys some of those YouTube channels. <clears throat> no one's bothering me. I've had like mother's apologies like, oh, I'm sorry my kid's throwing up at your feet. I'm like, oh, what happened? What? <laughs> yeah. Pat, you had a question. Well, and not my kids, the other moms. Um, I say clarity comes with action. You know, people say this all the time. If I knew what you guys knew, you know, and I was in your shoes and I know what I know, whatever. I didn't have all these tools when I began. I didn't have this framework. I didn't have these steps. I didn't know what Teachable was until 12 months ago. I didn't know all these things that I'm teaching you today. I just started. If you start, clarity will happen. Imagine mothers especially. If they sat you down and said everything that it's gonna to take to be a mom, would any of you ever have signed up? Okay, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, and then this is gonna happen, and then you're gonna do. You would be like, mind blown, okay? You, you know when you need to know. Sometimes we tell God, you tell me 29 steps and I'll take step one. And I'm saying, he doesn't do that that way. He says, there's step one. And if step one today is joining the Elixir Project Experience, don't ask for step two until you take step one. You know, that's what I've realized. Okay, anybody else? Questions, comments? Any more from there? Um, we'll take one more, then, then that's it. If there is one. If not, that's cool. Whatever. Okay. Nothing? Okay. Well, guys, it was an awesome time today. I had a blast. Um, and. I, I can't wait to see what product you create, what product or program, okay? All right, thanks so much. All right, we'll see you.